Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to NBOT. Okay, that's nobody on time. You know it, I know it. This Topo Chico mineral water knows it. It's me, it's me, it's just Sal. Hanging out with the man in the basement, the dude with the new kitchen, and the guy with the poker table, it's Enrique. Live. live What's going on? Live. Yeah, buddy. What's we are live. Uh, Sunday, we are live. Sunday, live. Sunday, Sunday. Live. Sunday. Oh, Great Digger. I Sunday. love Grave Digger. I, have we talked about that? I love Grave Digger. I think Digger. we did. I think we did Remember the old, what, was, what was the original one that's like the 80s, 90s monster truck? Wasn't it Bigfoot? Oh, Bigfoot right? was it, Wasn't yeah. he like the neon blue yeah. chassis green. with the big feet? Was it green? I thought, I thought it was, green it was and blue. Black. See, gra see, but Grave Digger is green and black for sure. Yeah, you might be right. You might be and right. And then, like, his the the original driver of Grave Digger in like the eighties and nineties has branched off and like it's it's a full on like family farm business. So his son has like a different version of Grave Digger that's Absolutely. that's black and orange. Thank you. It's just Absolutely. it's random again, random memory. Yeah, stuff. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I am wrong. There's t there's days when I'm wrong. Days, I tell you, oh, <laughs> where, oh. I'm, where I'm wrong. You mean, Just not you mean with minutes? monster trucks. You mean minutes, right? Well, I mean, minutes add up, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's out there. I'm sure that there's at least 24 hours of me being wrong collectively. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so like the Gravedigger family has, I think it's three divisions of like the Gravedigger. There's the original one that probably you and I know. There's his son, which does like like I said, a grave digger that's like neon orange and black, and then his daughter has like a uh, like a teal color scheme to it with black, and they all kind of like have the same, not necessarily logos, but like variations of a, the the like classic old school logo, and yeah, there's, I'm looking at it that here, whole dude. team is still known for doing cray like the freestyle stuff for for um, monster trucks. It's still the credibility of the of the Gravedigger team is still just as high as it was when they first started. It's kind of nuts, but they have there, there's this one monster truck that it's like its chassis is a shark, right? And I can't remember. I don't know if it's called something to do with Jaws. I don't know if it's a pun or whatever. But anyways, it's a shark, right? And the driver is known to do these like insane long jumps where he just it's, uh, scales. It's Megalodon. Megalodon, yeah. So he just scales the arena. Like it, it's kind of like, like I know that they have padding around the like outskirts of the arena, but I feel like yeah. he's gonna jump over the padding. <laughs> like it's well, just it's one just of those really corny '80s moments where, oh no, the monster truck lost control. <laughs> like it's it's like the jumps that they do is crazy, and of course because you know there's moments on Instagram. Where I'm just deep diving monster trucks for no reason whatsoever. There's like a, a a stunt team that works with like small chassis uh, monster trucks, which is like the difference between a fifteen thousand pound truck and like a thirteen thousand pound truck. Apparently, it's just a smaller like chassis on the top, but like the wheels, yeah, everything is still very monster truck. And they do like like skateboard grinds. Like they have these railings that are that look like, you know, X game skateboard railings of doing like with a, monsters, with monster but, trucks? but he does it with monster trucks. So he does oh these, my God. he does these crazy, like double backflips. He does this thing where he jumps off like a dirt ramp and then slides down the, like the grind pole lol, yeah. or whatever you call it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I couldn't think of another phrase, but he slides down no, the grind, the that. grind pole and he's doing like, he's doing stuff. That's like, Bro, Tony Hawk does stuff like that. Like it's it's really it's out of this world crazy. I'll put a link in the Discord, but it's uh yeah, it's pretty intense. And it makes me just more it makes my love for monster trucks just grow that it's turned into something as as nuts as still super popular for some reason. It like is. the niche is. is still out there. They travel internationally. Like the whole monster, like Monster Jam is like a, yeah. you know, like it's like the equivalent of WWE for Monster Trucks. Like that is the main source of where you watch Monster Truck is through Monster Jam. And then that whole like 
sect of teams or whatever because there's like probably two dozen teams they just travel everywhere they go to london they go to they go to scotland they go to japan like they're just everywhere like i i, I really was ignorant to how um how, how, last how large it, oh like live to a live event i was a child yeah i was a child oh really i had to be single digits because i remember the, the like the the godzilla monster that would like eat the broken trucks and snort fire out of its nose and stuff yeah it was it was pretty no, i don't let me see i'm trying to see when they're coming back to illinois they are not back to illinois i'm already in august oh, i'm of august Let's yeah but they rotate through um the all state september arena 21st. all the september time 21st. Yeah. yeah september 21st so it's definitely a thing they're in chicago at least one or two times a year no questions asked Oh yeah, absolutely. I, it's normally like February. I feel yeah. like February is a month. That's for them. like the monster truck season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah or whatever. Like my my season. It's twenty bucks a ticket, man. We should. Yeah, go. it's cheap. Should it's cheap. Kids. It's great. It's just loud. You know, the kid. It's loud. My kids scream and run away from the vacuum because it's too loud. There's no way they're gonna survive. Yeah, you put the head. You had the soundproof. Uh, yeah. I know they give you the little headsets, and now you can get yeah. them with like you can like clip on like a different team onto the actual headset, like the ear sections for the headset so it's smart you know as is tradition it's modern so everything's marketed of course. but um yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh sorry monster trucks are awesome and everyone should love them it's like it's just it's just it's just the inner mad max in me just wanting to just jump in and strap like some ars to the side and machine guns and like tank cannons <laughs> and oh my god you're so jaded is it twisted metal yeah pretty much <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, ironically, but, you know, the Twisted Metal like um, the Twisted Metal Monster Truck sucked in that game. So, <laughs> so it's like one hundred sixty five dollars front row. Like that's crazy. I'm not paying that for that. But it's twenty bucks in the two hundred section. Yeah, you don't need you know you don't need front row for for this. You could, no. I mean, you could do anything, any yeah, yeah, seat yeah. really. Just give me something. I always call it TV side. Just give me something on the sides. I don't want to see them come from the middle. I want to see the sides because then you can see the jumps. Like you get you get more depth. Oh man, I'm I'm kind of excited. We should do it in September for sure. Absolutely. It's the weekend of the uh, 20th, 21st, 22nd. It's an early Christmas present to myself. All twenty dollars. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So speaking of you know early Christmas present, how about mm. another poker game we had on Saturday? Oh, it was awesome. We had way more people, which was cool. And by way more, was it was awesome. like two more people, which is, I mean, two people it's out grown. of five is huge. Like that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, everyone was super enthusiastic. Everyone was like hyper chill, but like competitive to a point, which is great for me because I'm just I'm the dealer, so I'm just I'm just keeping I'm just trying to herd the cattle. So I'm just making sure that everyone's doing the right numbers with the right pot. There's a lot of splash in the pot. There's a lot of uh, yeah. there's a lot of I splash the pot when I That's want. Right. When I, whenever whenever the f I want. But we had the boxing match going on, so Sal's job was super important to keep everyone on track because everyone's watching the boxing match. Yeah, they yeah. Money on it and stuff. No one's caring about our little $10 game yeah. when they've got $400 riding on the matches. So Sal was on point as always. Santa hospitality was on point, even though he was a little frustrated at the beginning but still pulled it through. Very good night. Everyone was there supporting MBLT. Everyone yeah. got their MBLT chips because no one got them last time. Very fun time. Yeah. Uh, it was, I mean, we were there a long time. Actually, longer than I thought we were going to be. Dude, we left at like, we had to leave at like midnight, midnight 30. No, we got, it was like closer to one. Maybe closer to one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I guess so because I got home at two and I'm like 10 minutes from yeah. the house. Right, right, So, right. yeah, we had to be there until at least, let's say, 12, 45, 1 o'clock to be fair. Uh, again, yeah. we were able to get like two full, well, t yeah, essentially two full, like poker games in, like full on tournament rounds. Uh, we yeah. did it very simple, you know, just one, the 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 not crazy twenty five fifty a hundred. Like I, we didn't want to do a hard yeah, 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 yeah. One two five, just just keep it simple. That's we kept it, we kept it. blinds the same way for the yeah, whole game. Yeah, it was because people were able to just focus on their betting a lot easier, so it made some of the hands go by quicker. Especially yeah, one, when those one, drinks were flowing and they oh, were yeah, starting to get yeah. a little tipsy and they didn't know what the hell was yeah, going on. Yeah, it came to anymore. a point where I was essentially just playing for somebody at, at one point because they were sitting next to me. Oh, he had so no interest. Like, well, yeah, he was just, he just, he was donated. Just tapped out. He just donated. Yeah. yeah. Which is nice. There was no interest. Yeah. 
It was, was. I mean, I've always good to donate money, especially because I won that second game. Yeah, the second game but, worked out pretty well. Yeah, no, I like I how I'm sitting. I, I was sitting, with, you know, with both y'all at lunch day. No one offered me lunch. That's cool. I'll just deal it for free. No big deal. <laughs> no, but anyways, like the the game itself was really fun. We did have a lot of exciting. Like there were a lot of like big hand moments, which was pretty cool. A lot of like oh, like my my straight got beat by a flush. You know, I had the nuts going all the way to the river, and then like someone rivered like the the you know the super nuts essentially. Oh, it was it was really cool. It was really cool. There was a lot of I'll like. There was big momentum swings that happened a lot. It's oh, like absolutely. suddenly, suddenly, like players were pretty relaxed because you know it's just it's a chill game. And then like then they started getting hands, and then the hands would hit, and then they got serious. Yeah. No one was paying yeah, attention to serious. boxing. Then they got really serious, yeah, and suddenly serious. it's like you know three people got eliminated all by the same guy, and that's that's a whole Jamie Gold thing. It's hard to climb oh, that yeah, mountain right. at that point. But, uh, you know, it ended up working out really well for Jason. He just, like, he focused in. And then second game, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm playing, but, like, let's oh, go. I wanna, yeah, let's go. Let's SummerSlam. get SummerSlam on, which was yeah. uh, another great, awesome thing, like, looking at the highlights. I still, I, I haven't seen it. Like, I heard all the results already because oh, I, so I was cool. whatever. Yeah. But I, I heard it. It was, it was a very good, uh, you know. It was a premium live event. Yeah, PLE. Yeah, yeah PLE. Right. A plea. Yeah, but <laughs> How dare I'm just, I? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell Jason right now, bro. Like, I've told you over again, don't bring the phone out while we're out, bro. Like we're yeah, all together. Yeah, we're here, man. Put the phone away, like, I, bro. I understand like, that man. the boxing's on, but that was that's part of the setup, is that it was yes. box it's a boxing the event. Yeah. There's no one with a personal vice on the earbud then. Just go one earbud. Give me that. Don't do Thank that to you. me. Yeah. Listen to me. I don't have to yell and like flag you down like a construction flagger to try to get your attention. It was very annoying. But uh, I keep telling him that he don't care though. He don't care. Which um, is, I but, mean, it is what it is. He won. He was very. He was very he like was. jovial. He was. So it was good to see he him was. in a good mood. And then you won the second one, which was awesome. Got a little. Well, got a little pushback from some. <laughs> I, I, I had so. that, so had that liquid courage for a while. Yeah. First match, he's not talking anything. He's trying to figure out stuff. He's he's looking like a uh, dude from Super Bad with all the like mathematics above his head, <laughs> yeah. trying to figure it out. And then the second game, all of a sudden, he's like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna check this, looking at you in the eyes, or yeah. I'm gonna go all in." And like he's trying to like he's just trying to do like Jedi mind tricks on me, yeah, which are hilarious. Uh, but I just want to say the hand of the night was me going all in with a pair of sixes against Jose's Ace King. Yeah, and it was basically flip, a coin yeah. flip. It was a coin flip, and I ended up pulling out with trip sixes. You know, so I again another sign that I'm going to hell. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> three sixes were out there, but it was uh, it was a great night. And uh, you again, like I said, thank you again for being yeah, a good dealer. You, you're you're excellent. It's obviously, just, it's just math. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I just love then, math. Uh, and then being and able then to control like six other people, it's great. Well, ex exactly. <laughs> it's, the it's the Jedi power, mind tricks power were out trip. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a moment where someone's like, hey, Sal, can you just play these two hands for me? And mm -hmm. I would, I'd i probably say out of the seven playing at the table, five like, all turned back to the table because everyone was pretty much watching the bo one of the boxing matches, one of the undercards or whatever. And then I throw a bet out, and I'm like, uh, yeah, no, it's not four, it's 14. And yeah, the, right. everyone turns real, so they're like, oh, wait, what? Why is Sal, what? <laughs> Sal yeah. has a hand? I was oh, like, so, yeah, no, so he's he's out. I'm, play, I'm playing here. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. Well, like, I, I guess I got full. I'm like, I'm not doing this. And so I, I I had my presence. My presence was uh, acknowledge me. <laughs> well, he was definitely heading the one finger up and saying, "I'm here," because you know, Roman came back. So it was oh yeah, like, it was it all me. it was all just meant to be. It was meant to be, but you know the the thing is, is Sal's playing all night dealing, and he's he you know, he picks and chooses which hands to look at to see if I made a good fold, if you know Jason made a good fold, Jose. So he well, knew like, what yeah. we were folding, what we were playing. So he had some inside information. I do have more information. All of a sudden, also, I yeah, don't need it. Through. After the first hand oh, that you showed oh. me, I was done with looking at whatever it is you <laughs> thought you had. I was just like, well, this dude's playing two seven offsuit, like hand three, just trying to like, you like that? just trying to puck like chess at Jason. I was like, okay. Well, and look, then Jason caught looked. a hand, and that's what you get. If he didn't do that, you would have been fine. But exactly. So here, here's the thing. Jason and I have a long history of playing cards together. He's almost every game I've ever hosted or been a part of. Jason has been there, mm -hmm. so I know him, and he plays the same way whether he has or he doesn't. So I just I never know if he's if he has or doesn't because he plays the exact same way. And he'll he'll think he has something he doesn't. It's he's very tricksy. 
So two seven, which is the worst hand in poker. Yeah, two like, seven. I should have folded seven. it. Yeah. But I just thought this hand, I'm gonna, you know, I'm I'm like Matt Damon and Rounders. Yeah. Like, and I'm just gonna come at you. I don't care. I'm not. Even, I'm not even playing. I'm playing the guy. I'm not playing the cards. It's unfortunate he had. A, he had. You know, cards. He just caught. So, like it was lucky. Yeah, he just yeah. It happens. It happens. So, but very, very good game. I, I love it. Our next game is uh, September 14th. Uh, again, if you're in the Illinois area and you're looking to get in on it, just uh, hop in our Discord. Yep. Send Let us know you're interested. All the social medias. We will yep. coordinate That's accordingly. True. That's right. So yeah, always room at the table. If not, we'll make a second table. So we're we're good for that. So that that was fun. That was fun on the weekend. You do anything else over the weekend? No, Sunday was more of a relaxing day. Just kind of doing like errands and and whatnot. I I, I brought uh, my daughter with me. I'm like, hey, I didn't like you guys. I was out all night, so like now I want extra time to make up for it. Yeah, come with me. Let's go on a cowboy adventure. So I was trying to look for some cowboy like outfit stuff. Not necessarily for Halloween, but like the the old. Yeah clint eastwood poncho like that that like that uh that brown poncho that he had i'm trying to find like a hat that doesn't look too ridiculous on my head i was just trying to find stuff and uh no it didn't really work out like i i went to a store called the boot barn which is essentially just like a leather boot and oh yeah inside sure, uh yeah. the green mills mall and yeah. i was like well they sell clothes there like it's it's a whole thing it's not just the, boot. the, boots, thing, the yeah. boots are the thing but it's a whole it's a whole aspect so I was like, I, I was like, let's go through here. Let's see what they got. And of course, they have like glittery boot, like they're just stuff perfect for my daughter. She's like, oh, I can be a cowgirl. Look, they got glittery pink boots. They got glittery silver boots. They got a pink hat. And I'm like, okay, we're not here for you. Okay, we're here for daddy. I'm trying to figure out a cool outfit. Like, let's take a look. And I don't want to get like the um, what's that necktie called? That's stereotypical. Oh, I have one of those. A I forget what it's or called. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. remember the name of it, but I don't want to get one of those stereotypical neckties. I do want an obnoxious shirt, but not too obnoxious. Like it's like you have to see my face, and I don't want like the ultra obnoxious <laughs> shirt. So I'm just trying to find like classic setups. I found the Marty McFly thing online. I was gonna say the Marty so McFly. So I'll probably I'll cool. probably dump the money into the Marty McFly thing because it's it's relatively inexpensive. So I was like, oh, man, if I really want to dump the money into, like, a, a like not like a legit, but as close to a Clint Eastwood look as possible, and play into this character of slowly getting beat up, you know, more and more and more as as a new uh, Let's Play series comes out on Just Sell Stuff, I was like, oh, this, maybe I could just get a couple, like, start simple with the white shirt and the bowl hat, and then just make it look tattered and, and beat up, and I don't know. So the ideas I, are I still flowing. I got it'll time. I got a lot of time where... I think we're only on episode five for the Fallout series that I have going on right yep. now. That's like a twelve to thirteen episode, so I, I have I have more than enough time to figure out a, like a, th a thematic aesthetic to Ooh, go with the I next like playthrough. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be fun, and uh, I think that's a great idea what you're doing with like every day you're showing like more and more damage to your face yeah. as you're going through it. I think it's gonna be hilarious. So you guys need to definitely check them out. Just sell stuff on YouTube uh and twitch is the same same handle right no i'm not yeah it is the same handle i'm not streaming this is all youtube exclusive stuff so you're getting like full playthrough videos and by that i mean like 20 to 30 minutes and then um i'll i create what do they call it reels reels is the U no mm -hmm. shorts is youtube Reels shorts is, is youtube yeah but anyways I, I create the like 15 second like highlight moments that that go out there too to kind of like supplement like oh here's a really funny thing if you want to if you think that's funny, go check out the rest of the video. Like it's it's great. I do what I his, can to be as humorous as possible. His whole thing on the turtles when he first started coming. Yeah, the Ninja Turtle turtles stuff. Yeah, is <laughs> hilarious, guys. Go check that out. That is funny. It's like his first couple on there from like this new time that he's on there yeah. now. Hilarious. We're hilarious, reviving hilarious. the channel and it's it's moving it's moving to a point where I'm like cool. <laughs> like it's just fun. Yeah. Like my hobby is being acknowledged by at least one person out there. That's fun for me. So I'm I'm all right with that. <laughs> So I'm very, yeah, it's no, very it's satisfying good. to see some of the some of the stuff come out there, but um, <laughs> unfortunately, there's there's always balance in the in the in the world of everything that we do, and I can't have one good video gaming session without five nasty work sessions. Let me tell you, oh. the weekend was great. Like we had the poker night. I got playtime with the kids. You got to go on like your kind of like roast beef adventure, lol. And then <laughs> and then um, you know here comes Monday. 
and uh, you know i'm covering for germania who's on her much uh much deserved well-weighted pto time so i'm covering for germania and uh oh good lord oh you gotta be kidding me so i'm covering for germania and like i have i have a um like a pre-built expectation for just the general turnaround of mm -hmm. a lot of her sites and her teams and everything like that and uh pretty much what it is is for whatever reason as it's tradition her her book is fine everything's cool knock knock uh there's call offs but it's not like ridiculous right it's not like what her and i chat about every monday tuesday wednesday you know the weekend is nuts you know i i come into monday and i'm already like i feel like two minutes into my 10 hour day i'm on hour nine or whatever but like nothing's really happening again hard knock knock and uh everything is just going berserk on my end <laughs> it's like really doubling down hard on my side so this morning monday morning i have in succession between 4 15 4 30 a.m to 6 five call offs five different spots five different start times all like morning shift though like a 6 a.m a 7 a.m 8 a.m whatever and of course like my backup officer he calls off four site officers call off then i'm trying to find like my flex team i'm like hey i see that you know i put you on flex stuff over at like logistics site one can you rotate over the logistics site two because you don't really count at site one in regards to like like bill rates or pay rates or whatever you're just like an extra person in case of something and now something happened it's just so happened to happen like you know down the street so i just need you to move can you rotate over there oh yeah um you gonna pay for travel yeah yes i'll keep you on the clock <laughs> just get over there man like we've already explained what a flex officer is and what they do like right. i'm just giving you consistent hours so that you can maintain something but really it's drop of a dime if something changes you change so you 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 work like seven to three eight to four in the morning like seven a.m to 3 p.m or whatever 8 a.m whatever at one primary site but it's like you're synced up with seven other sites so it's like if if i call off in the morning at site three but your your base site one is where you're at you go to site three like you're my right. ping pong so that you know they're giving me they're trying to give me a hard time about it but they ended up rotating over without me having to go premium mode which i hate doing but um so that happened then i find out that i'm cross training someone at like a i guess you could say it's more of a commercial location but it involves a lot of patrols and this guy uh, you might as well uh <laughs> you might as well put him on the walker like he's just for whatever reason he just can't consistently walk which is fine he's a great guy he's a good customer service officer but yeah. he, he can't do the walking like it's just too much for him and uh he's texting me he's like hey man you, i know you said that there were patrols at this commercial site but like this is next level for me he goes i i don't think i can handle it you got another site i was like <laughs> uh no but we'll figure it out <laughs> so we'll go from there i had a no show at a different commercial site because she had she was sick she had covid like last week because covid is still a thing people you know be clean it be is, mindful it is still a thing, covid yes. is very much still a thing just because the provisions are different now and how you go back to work doesn't mean that it's like it disappeared it's not like chicken pox it just it just doesn't stop i mean it kind of does now but like whatever covid is still out there so she the an officer tested positive for covid i was like hey all you gotta do is just again it's um quarantine i was thinking of the word it's just quarantine for a couple days and if you don't have symptoms you know booster shot or whatever shot or not as long as you're not showing symptoms you're good to come back you wear a mask for like two to five business days depending on your symptom you know how little yeah. your symptoms are and then you just go right back to it that's how little illinois cares about it right now just that's don't right. cough and everything's fine that's a, that's where illinois is but she ends up retesting i think it was sunday or saturday and she tested positive again and i go yeah no i know that like i know you're going to do that it's just about how bad are your symptoms oh sal oh, oh, oh sal oh, 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 oh man i don't know i i just, i don't know sal this is just crazy this is crazy what's happening to me i go it's it's like 7 30 in the morning it's two hours after your shift started what do you mean this is crazy <laughs> i told you what the plan was the plan was 
quarantine five days if you don't have symptoms you come back if you feel you have symptoms you can test again but if they're light you can come back everything comes back on monday today oh yeah i remember that text <laughs> i remember that i was like okay so where are you <laughs> i'm home let me send you a picture no i don't need to see a picture of your home what about the COVID test i, I don't care like are your symptoms bad <laughs> i can barely stand uh, okay, dude, just stay home, though. Jesus. Just stay home. So now I went dark on a shift in the morning. Like, the afternoon guy showed up, like, two hours early, which is nothing, but, you know, it's something. It, it's enough to me. It's enough for me to tell the client, yeah, I, I tried. Here we are. It's just it's just one crazy thing after another. And then I just, I literally just now, as I'm telling the story, my logistic supervisor just called off again. Oh, I've been watching this morning? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bro. Oh, oh I, call I, off twenty. I, I'm, I'm, yes, call off number twenty. I guess uh, uh, unofficially number fifteen, or officially number. 15. I'm not feeling any better. I'm so bedridden all day. Do you, do you, do you need anything for me? Yeah, I need you to go to work. Yeah. Get to work. Yeah, go yes. to work. Go to work. What the hell? Get get off your butt and go to work. And I hate wow. I hate hearing this from people. I was in the hospital doing work. Get to work. Get to work. I remember, oh, it doesn't matter. It's just going to make me mad. But, like, it's just, it's, it's just ridiculous stuff. Then I had, um, there, was a, there was a family emergency for another person, which is completely legit and understandable. Calls off, he wants PTO. No problem, I got you. I go, let me, let me talk to the overnight guy to cover you in the morning. Overnight guy, unresponsive. Doesn't say nothing to me. I was like, okay, let me call the, over, the morning officer who gets there, like, a little early, like, around 4 or 5 o'clock. I was like, hey, you might be solo today, and you might have to go like two hours after your shift just to cover the actual full morning shift. Okay, so no problem. Just keep me updated. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I call the afternoon manager. Hey, if you can come in at any time early today, I don't care if it's 10 minutes or 10 hours, do it. And just tell me when you get there, and I'll update your schedule live. Sal, so I got you. I'll be there at like probably around noon. I find out he gets there at 10, which is uh, fine, but like just you didn't tell me nothing. But anyway. So I'm calling a couple of flex officers. I'm like, hey, man, you know, it's all the same. Like, I'm just copy pasting and just changing the name in these messages. I'm like, hey, can you show up at, you know, Logistics Site 4? It's a morning shift. I can spot you X dollars because it's short notice. It's super early, et cetera, et cetera. I get a response. I mean, I get a lot of no's, no's. I'm not available. Oh, by the way, do you have something in the afternoon? Whatever. So <laughs> I get a lot of that. But someone respond. Yeah, someone responds to me. and They're like, Sal, I got you. I'll be there. I'll be there right away. He goes, I just woke up and I saw your message. I'm already changing your mind my way. I was like, sweet. This is why I call you because like you're one of my, you know, my six go-tos that I, you're the first six people that I text. You're in that block. Now in my head, I thought he had Mondays off because he only oh. does a four day work week. So I was like, cool. We're set. Like, I'm not worried about nothing. Fast forward. He gets there on time. He's doing his thing. And uh, fast forward to like, Probably just before noon, because I know that you had like a powwow with Nahe beforehand. So we, Jason and I, had time to like do a couple extra, you know, cross and T's and dotting eyes before we went to lunch. And I see, I'm like, oh yeah, he's actually working. This guy who helped me out, he's actually working in the afternoon today. So he's essentially doing a double. So I text him. I go, hey man, you still gonna be good for your shift at Logistics Site Three? I know you're at Logistics Site Four. I go, you gonna be able to do that double today? If so, I can match the rate from the morning to the afternoon as a courtesy to you. You know, just to show you how much I appreciate you being able to be, like, super Johnny on the spot for me. Oh, no, nah, man, I'm sick. Uh, what do you mean you're sick? Are you at the site? Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, but I'm sick. I ain't going to do my actual shift. I go, but your actual shift... That premium. Yeah, I go, your actual shift has priority. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I ain't going to make it. I'm like, okay, so if we're moving forward, you're out of my top six. You're not my bench warmer no more. I go, I'm not going to call you or text you for overtime until next year i go if you get something through the automated system just make sure you approve it with me before you say yes because if i see that you pick up shifts somewhere else we're gonna we're gonna talk we're gonna have a problem because now you're just taking advantage of me so you can make up for your money because you were gonna call off anyway but you That's didn't want right. to tell me that you just want to take advantage of me so now we're gonna go full corporate and you're gonna watch what happens when you go when you go full corporate with me because I get nasty Ooh, real fast. Corporate ministry. I don't like that. Go. I don't like that, man. I don't like being taken. I glad I willfully do what I do to min max people all the time to make sure they all get the their time. money and they get the respect for what they do. 
But the minute that I find out that you're gonna get shady on me, and like people get shady on me all the time. But when you shady. when you start getting shady on me, I I go full corporate. I go, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? You better hope you show up less than seven minutes after your ship starts, because I'm gonna get nasty with you. I go, I could find anybody to fill these spots. This is not like what's the phrase? This is not rocket science. This is not a difficult job to fill. It's difficult for the sake of the pay rate is, you know, subpar in regards to what you could be making out there. Like right. I'm pretty sure that um Chick-fil-A starts their people at like eighteen fifty. And then you get <laughs> I say premium. You get premium, you get a higher higher dollar amount when you work the weekends or, or stuff like that. I was just like, so we don't even fight fair with Chick-fil-A. Chick fil A makes more money than most of my entry level posts. But and they get Sundays off. And they get Sundays off. Jesus time. So like thank the thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that chicken, yo. So it's like <laughs> I was just like, I can find someone fast if I have to. Because I know I know the system. I'm the veteran here. You've been working here for six months. I'm the veteran. Why wouldn't you work with me so we can take advantage of the system together? Because I remember when I was a guard and like I had to learn the hard way on how to do things to, to make the right amount of money, the right amount of hours to make sure that I stayed within, you know, like certain provisions for unions and non-unions, how to min-max policy, how to min-max procedure, who to talk to, who to play the game, what carrot to chase because everyone's going to have a carrot on a stick and oh, they're going to want to take advantage of someone who has like due diligence and initiative. So it's like it's it's really all about min-maxing or you could just be honest with me and say you don't care and you're just here for the check, which is fine then make me allow me to make you look good for doing nothing or doing yeah. the bare minimum or maybe even less than the bare minimum which is what's it's, happening it's, with the supervisor like 20 well, call offs in it, three months it, well that's right 20 calls so everyone's taking your kindness as a weakness yeah. and uh it, it's time for the sal to really come out and give that anger out there and be like all right well here the line has been crossed yeah fall you, is you're be... not taking advantage right you have yeah. not taken advantage of me the leaves aren't the only thing that's going to be falling this quarter so hey there you go <laughs> that was nice right? just don't, don't <laughs> hurt yourself don't hurt yourself though don't hurt yourself. No, whatever i'll be out i'll be out, I'll out there in the post i'll be oh no we ain't doing that i ain't going back i ain't, I ain't going back out. man they ain't taking me back <laughs> I'm from around the day. way. I'm gonna take something with me. I'm gonna roll with something. <laughs> what was that Denzel skit with uh, Jamie Foxx? That's I'm right. Around the way. I'm gonna go home with something. I'm going home with something. But yeah, so, so it's like it's just crazy. So that, it's just crazy so, stuff. So that was happening with to to you Monday morning, and I had to get up at the butt crack of dawn to be at a new special that we're doing. There is a coin show going on in in the convention center near our office mm -hmm. and they've contracted not one not two three security guards to monitor their the coins points. yeah so two years ago there was five hundred thousand dollars worth of rolex stolen from this show yeah. and since then they've put nothing you know all types of security in there so yeah. then they spent five hundred thousand dollars no right yeah. yeah well yeah after all those rolex are gone now all of a sudden security you know is, is an expense that they can afford <laughs> so i i get to the thing and of course there's no information on parking and of course there's no parking mm -hmm. so i'm i'm rotating the building rotating looking like okay this is gonna be a problem so I park in the front, but not in the, the place where the sign is up that says we will tow. So I park like across from it. There's like some statues and stuff. So I park there, hazards on, business card in the window. I go walking in. I'm trying to find it. Everyone's scattered. Everyone's trying to do setup and stuff. They're not letting me on to the actual convention floor. They're only allowing people to get logged in, registered. I see an actual sign that says our company name and another company name. So I follow the sign. I get to where the sign ends and it says you were here or whatever. And they're all looking at me like I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm looking for booth 134. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, that's not here. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm with this company. Mm -hmm. is, does that help? Because I see the sign. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know you're, you're not at booth 134. Tell me, I, hate, so I, I love and I yeah. hate conventions, bro. Oh, my God. They're the worst. So I go back to the front. And now it's now after the time that these guards are supposed to be here. So I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, what's going on? I finally uh, I get a call from Jason because Jason is the one that really staffed two of the three guards this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, hey, man, my guy is uh, there. He's uh, looking for you. He's parked. Like, can I just give me a number? Like, send me, you know, just tell him to call me. 
The other guys are very happy-go-lucky Middle Eastern flex officer, super flex officer that goes anywhere, does everything. He looks the part. He's got that tactical look. Like, if you want someone to guard coins, this is your man. He is not moving an inch the entire time. He's got discipline. Man is amazing. He's just annoying. So <laughs> he's, he's calling me. And he's, he's, <laughs> like, he's like, boss, boss, I'm here, boss, boss. I'm trying to park. Where is parking? I said, look, you got to park in the back. You're going to have to pay for parking. I got to figure that out. But right now it is what it is. Otherwise, you could park down by the train station and walk two or three blocks uh, back there for free parking. Uh, so he figures it out. And I now get the call from Jason's guy who is telling me, hey, man, I'm walking in. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, what are you wearing? He's like, I, I got the light blue long sleeve shirt on. Um, you know, that's what I'm wearing. I'm coming in black pants. Like, I'll see you there. I'm like, all right, great. It should be easy to spot. So I'm trying to figure out how to get into the sexual, like the floor. Mm -hmm. And there's a lady sitting there making badges. So I come off to the side and I ask her like, you know, ma'am, how do we get in? We're here for this company. How do we get in? I need to get my guards in. And with all the attitude in the world, she's like, I'll, I'll help you right now. Just give me one second. And she calls someone and proceeds to talk about me in front of me. Like, she's like, this security people are here, and they just think they can just walk on the side of the line, not get in line, and just start asking questions, and uh, I don't know, I can't handle this right now, I got too many people in line, and they, you know, they just, they need help, so we need you guys to come help. I'm literally, I can hear her whole thing, and like, she's I'm, like, well, she, huh? No, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm like, I'm not a patron, I'm a vendor, no, like, I'm a vendor. No yeah, but like, why are you talking about me like that? Like, what? I, it's not like I, I came up and expecting you to process me a certain way. I'm just looking for information. Yeah. You weren't doing anything. You're just sitting there on your computer. There is a long line, but the other lady's taking care of the long line. So she's like, do I make him a badge? What do I do? And apparently they're deciding, okay, make him a badge. So I said, I'm like, should I get in line? And she's like, yeah, get in line. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in line. <laughs> yeah. I'm in line. And this line is long. I mean, yeah. it's longer than the Nile River. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting in line. And here comes Jason's guy in. He's wearing a black shirt. He tells me he's wearing a blue shirt. He comes in. So I'm thinking it's a different guard. Yeah. I'm like, hey, man, what's up? I shake his hand. He's like, oh, yeah, I just talked to him the phone. Oh, you said you're wearing a blue shirt. No, I meant it was like long sleeve, like the blue shirt. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. like shirts? <laughs> you know, the blue shirt is not... <laughs> well, it's not like, only what? for our company. There's blue shirts everywhere. Man. Right. That's, 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 that, that's not the template. You're not <laughs> telling me like a an A shirt versus a long sleeve yeah. sweater. Like we, <laughs> I was just like, come on, man. So I already knew. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, I'm not being I'm not being disrespectful, but his conversations are very similar to the what he described that he was wearing. So I'm annoyed because I'm trying to figure this out. This lady just gave me attitude. I got boss man calling me every two seconds trying to figure out where he's going to park because he can't figure that out. And then I'm like, wait, we're supposed to have a third person. Where's that person at? Mm -hmm. So as I'm saying that, I call Jason. I said, yo, can you look into the schedule, find out who it is and call? Him. She calls me and she's like, hey, I've been here since eight o'clock. I'm on the floor. Like, I'm where, where's everyone else at? I'm wow. Like, How'd you do that? How did you get in? She's like, I got a badge man. I came right in. I said, OK. All right. She's like, do you, do you want me to come get you guys? I said, I said, yeah, uh, um, please come get us. So I'm like, all right, we'll wait here. You come get us. She comes out and she's like, well, no, you guys still need a badge. So what, you want what are you talking about? Us? Yeah. What, what are you doing? So wow, I'm like, I, so, but I come out of the line. Yeah, so you have to, now you have to start all over I again. I have to go back in line again. I'm at the end of now this, this little forever line. This is like the lamb chop of lines. It just, it's just a song that never ends. <laughs> so you get back in line, and I still got to hear this guy with his conversation. Based on what he was wearing, you can already mm -hmm. know what that conversation mm -hmm. like. Plus, I got the other guy calling me every two seconds trying to find the place. And I got to stand in this line. We finally get to the front of the line. She pulls me out. And says, look, I saw you were coming up, so I made another phone call. I don't think you guys really need to, to get a badge. <laughs> the look up, she must have knew the look on my face, because now her whole uh, attitude changed. Bro, I was like, are you, are you kidding me? She's like, yeah, I, I'm calling Kenny right now. And, you know, I, I know you guys deal with Kenny a lot. I'm going to, he's not here right now, but I called him and he said that he, that you guys wanted to sign in. And I'm like, I don't wow. know who Kenny is. 
I'm like South Park. I'm like, who, who the hell's yeah. Kenny? Yeah. Who, who is this? I don't know who that is. This is my contract is with this company. Their point person is this person. That's all I know. So she she calls Kenny. Kenny sends a Bob. <laughs> and this is a stereotypical old man Bob yeah. in security. He's got the gangster limp. He's been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. He tells us way too much than he should. It's just, it's one of those typical, like, old, like, hey, security guys that are just retired. So he's like, we got to go back and walk to go get you guys signed in. Guess where I had to go to get signed in, so. You're back uh, to, the, to the lady who's making the badges? Nope. To the guy that told me I wasn't supposed to be there, he didn't know where 134 was. <laughs> where I first started this endeavor, where I first went... It's the guy. We come in. Him and I make eye contact. He's like, oh, you guys needed to sign in. No crap. Wow, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Bro. I was like, wow. So then he's like, oh, you're with Bob. I understand now. I said, I told you what company I was with. The sign says for the company to come in here. You, I was, I was so upset. As we're passing, I still look outside to make sure my car's still there because it's, it's not parked in a spot. So what I do... You know, thinking I popped the trunk. Now it looks like I'm loading. Mm. So now they're not gonna look. They're not gonna look to the toe. So we go in. We get him signed in. And Bob is the slowest walker you're ever gonna find. So he starts talking to people. People are asking him like, "Hey, you're dressed up nice." So I'm assuming this guy went out last night and got like crap faced. Mm. So he's he's like, "Hey man, you're all dressed up nice. Like who cleaned you up? Who bought you those clothes?" Who I'm bought like, you like, those clothes? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what so... was happening last night? What was going on last night that Bob was just going buck wild? I'm, I'm just like, oh, my. So he's stopping to talk to people as we're walking. So I just kept walking. And then the, the guards, now that both of them are with me, they stop with Bob. I just keep walking. I said, come on, come on, guys. Like, like let's, let's go. Like, we, we were supposed to be there over an hour ago. Like we're already late to post. Good thing it's like they gave us buffer time while they set up. Yeah. So we get back to the area. The guy looks. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, you're supposed to sign in here. We sign in, and now Bob's got to escort us to wherever we need to go, which is like the longest walk you're ever going to take, because Bob is taking so damn long. So we're like walking the mile, like going to death row, and like nobody walking wants to go. <laughs> yeah, we're just walking the mile. Like everyone's like moving out of the way. They're all like, you know, inmates coming through, like, watch out. Uh, can we just get there, please? So he goes through and he takes us to the exact same place where the girl came out to try to get us, but we didn't have badges. And guess what? We still didn't have badges. But Bob let us in because Bob's got the magic key. So He's got the magic key. That's right. Magic Seek was the actual song on that. I like what you did there. You're welcome. So, yeah, we, we get there. We get there, and he, like, opens it up. Like, it's like like a Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, how everything turns to color. Oh, wow. Like, okay. Yeah, oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. So, he opens it up, and he's like, okay, the booth's in the corner. Have fun, guys. Please make sure nothing gets stolen. I was just like, oh, my God. So, we get back there, and the lady has no interest in us being there. She's just on her phone, and she's like, yeah, we're going to be setting up the next, like, three hours. We just need you guys to make sure nothing gets stolen. Okay, fine. So I huddle everyone up. I said, you're on that corner, you're on that corner, you're on that corner. When someone breaks, you guys need to make sure you're watching the corner that's being, you know, on break and call us any problems. Well, I shouldn't have said that because yes, all day, right <laughs> all day, these guys are calling me, snitching on each other. One of them's like, oh, oh they geez. went to the dock. Are we supposed to be at the dock? Like, no, your your post is that booth unless they're they're escorting like you know their their uh their materials. Like if they're moving their their coins and stuff, yes, be with them, escort them. No, that's not what's going on. They're just they're at the dock and people are going to the dock. There's two of them, just one here. What's supposed to go on? I'm like, oh my god. I was like, tell them to come back. Everyone comes back unless the, tell them if they're being directed by the client, the client needs to call me just so I make sure it's clear on what we're doing because I wasn't told anything about a dock. Okay. Then I get another call. Hey, how many breaks are we supposed to get? <laughs> oh my God. There's three of you. They only really wanted two. They added a third, four breaks. I don't care how many breaks you take. If it's busy, don't take breaks. Otherwise, it's it's a 12-hour shift. You get two half-hour breaks, two 15-minute breaks. Figure it out. Like There's three of you, and you guys are all seasoned, except for the, the guy wearing a blue shirt that's actually black. Like <laughs> the, other, the, other, the other two I, I trust, but oh, my God. And it just kept going the rest of the day. 
I just finally stopped getting calls about 7.30. Uh, and it, it's just, this is the day one. I really hope, like, the rest of the week just goes smooth. Uh, it should be a pretty easy gig, easy money, but Jesus Christ. Like, why can't anything yeah. ever go go good? Yeah, no, we're and not then, allowed. We're not allowed. No, no. Then it was hot in the office today. I couldn't believe how hot it was in the office. Yeah, the, Janet and I were talking about that. The minute that the minute I walked in, I was like, it feels, it feels like heavy, like the like there's weight in the air. It's yeah. dra it's making me drag my feet. But um, yeah, I, I mean, eventually someone figured it out, and it got a little bit more cooler. I don't know not if that mile. was like I don't. Yeah, not my, I mean, but you have that fan right behind you, so that that kind of yeah, keeps I, you at a good I, spot. I get it, but no, but if it's cold, if it's warm, my office is just blowing warm air around. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, true. They, it's like they close my vent to open up the vent in the conference room. I don't care about the conference room. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? And then I ex I close the door because I'm yeah. it's, instinctually I close the door all the time because they talk too loud. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of the fact that there's a lot of like confidential information that's getting openly spoken about inside of our office, and they should have that door closed anyway. I don't know why that's something I need to bring up every single time, every single day, <laughs> but. <laughs> Okay, but e either way, everything everything was fine. And she's like, "Oh, Sal, just making sure that you know it's really hot in here today. So I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep it open for a little bit longer, and then um, then it'll be fine." I was like, "You don't need to explain anything. Just open the door. Like I'm I'm not. You know why I closed it. So just just if you need to open it, that's fine. Just tell me later. You don't need to stop your session." To come walk over to me and tell me that on the other side of the office that's like so you know, extra what's funny is i walked in with that vendor and uh so i parked on the fourth floor of the garage i, I come in she also parks on the fourth floor for some reason I, i've never seen her park on the fourth floor but she's there so i'm at the elevators i walk past her car i didn't know it was her but she starts like flashing her lights and like beeping her horn I wouldn't look. And I finally, yeah, I finally look. And I'm like, oh, hey. So I wait for her. We get in the elevator. She's like, yeah, I was just trying to get your attention so that, you know, just to say, hey. I said, well, I'm not a streetwalker. Like, you should just lower the window and be like, hey, Enrique. Like, I, I, just, I you know, I'm not, I don't walk the streets like that. So yeah. she's laughing. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I just, you don't, you, that's a, a real comment. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. talking to you real. <laughs> Being honest with you, I'm talking to you real. Yeah, so she was on one already in the morning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, and we've been complaining about the heat, but for today, for some reason, like it wasn't extremely, but the humidity was ridiculous. Today. Mm -hmm. I was sweating just walking from the convention entrance to my car. I'm like, what's going on? I don't, I'm not a sweater. I don't sweat a lot. Yeah. And then, and then we went outside. <laughs> we decided yeah. to go outside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It is. There's a new, there's a new, uh, what's his name? Uh, a new Korean like barbecue asian asian, asian barbecue yeah, it's like asian it's like it's like if you were to take like rice bowls but have it served to you chipotle style that's kind of what this place is exactly. i guess is the, is the best way to, to say it's like it. panda express meets chipotle yeah that's yeah that's a great that's actually a great way to explain it yeah uh unfortunately you had pretty much nothing asian oriented inside this place we're like that was your suggestion oh let's go for it we get there he's like yeah can i get a bowl of rice with some chicken on it i'm like what is this i, I had the potatoes am i, I didn't believe potatoes. also not asian they're just like the, those just look like hash brown oh, potatoes they were asian potatoes no <laughs> no I, I was like am i getting punked why do we come here is this about to be a 30 dollar meal is that what's happening it ended up being, yeah ended up being like really cost efficient it was awesome man, man. and um yeah and i was, I was full like it was a good portion yeah it was good i, did, uh, I didn't even think about food for the rest of the day yeah no the, and the uh so we, we go in everyone's ordering trying to pick their orders and i'm just i'm looking at it, i was like oh no like i made a mistake and I, I look at the chick i'm like okay that's edible and then i look i'm like okay i want rice and then i'm like yeah. she's like ask me for another thing and i'm like oh no so yeah, I was they had like, options. Yeah, yeah, yeah i was you like had, uh, and then I'm yep. asking questions and she's pointing it to the sign. Yeah. I'm like, he's like, I'm he's like what's that? And she's like, the sign's right in front of you. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, there it is. Just like a Chipotle. That's yeah. crazy. Well, well, what's funny is when we get down the line, then Sal just starts pointing at the menu and saying, here's that, here's this, here's that, here's that. That's what that is. And I'm just like, okay, like, bro, like, relax. So well, I'm helping. 
I get it, and I, I appreciate she, your help. Because I, I read the room. She's not helping yes. you. You get frustrated, yeah. which means you're not interested. So I was like, hey, let me make it interesting. They got steak, man. They got chicken. Yeah, right. But the steak <laughs> looked ridiculous. I don't know what kind of steak. I don't know what kind of meat that was. Yeah, it looked, it looked like a skirt steak. steak that was just shredded. Yeah. Like, it looked, shredded, it looked yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I get the chicken. Non-spicy, of course. Yep. I, I get all that. And then they're like, anything. I'm like, nope. Like, we're good. And like, sauce. He's like, sauce it up. So I'm looking at the sauces. I'm like, all right, I'll do teriyaki. Like, I like teriyaki. Mm -hmm. But put it on the side. Because I already knew if I didn't like it, it was going to ruin my entire meal. <laughs> so I get it on the side. We go. We pay. We get our stuff. Meanwhile, our supervisor breaks the lemonade machine. <laughs> it completely breaks it. The thing won't stop pouring out lemonade. There's there's uh, passion fruit lemonade all over the floor. They bring out the bucket that probably looks like... It, it's it, a five-gallon oh, bucket. No question. It's, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's got the numbers on it. Like They they measure stuff in this thing. It's a they wide bucket. Out there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's big. And they, they've never dealt with this, obviously. Yeah, because they don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, he the, like the pushed the, the cup. Yeah. He pushed the cup into the dispenser. You know, you just push it back and it dispenses. But I guess he pushed it too far because he's he's a he's a big boy. So he's muscles. Uh, my big boy. It's, he's yeah, he's muscles. He's like Ahmed Johnson. He's a big he's a big dude. Well, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a great reference. Right? <laughs> you remember, so, remember that with the neon red? I do, I do, I do. He had to tighter on all his muscles. But what's funny is we're walking in right from the street. Sal does not like walking on non-sidewalk surfaces. No, it's not. I don't like getting hit by cars. Pivoted. Right, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. He does a pivot. So he walks in between cars, but as has happened, the guy that's coming to his car is walking, so now it's, it's we're playing chicken. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, see, that's why I don't like doing that that's stuff. Right. Yeah, it's you awkward. Know, yeah. Yeah, that's right. No, this guy's coming out. And we got we got four big dudes. And then he looks at the supervisor. He's like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to call you big. It's the rest of these guys are big. And I'm like, you I said the rest. Of, I said the rest of us. And now, did you call me fat? I go, yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Me too. As I like jiggle my belly in front of you. Me too. Are we done? Like trying to disguise ourselves? Let's just go get some food. Like what's I going on? I was wearing black for a reason today, though. Like I was. Yeah, swimming. he had, he had them vertical swimming. lines. That's right. <laughs> I was trying, and like he just tore out my my whole self esteem. I was with the Panera and had a salad. But I, you know, I don't remember. Oh, I still hell, no, this no. <laughs> so, yeah. again, he breaks the, the lemonade machine. We, we go to pay. They finally get someone to – they had to drain the entire thing. They couldn't yeah. fix it. Yeah, they couldn't right? take off, like, you know how most, like, like not soda dispensers, but, like, juice dispensers, you can just take off the top. It's like a yeah. whole – it looks like a giant ice tray. You just take off the top. But I guess – it's connected. It's like some, I don't know what. I, clearly, it's connected, and they couldn't do it. And then they just drained it in that big old tub. And then what the dude it? was like cleaning the floor. He's cleaning the counter. He's cleaning the. Uh, he's cleaning the cabinets. That's just not stop cleaning. Only Mexican yeah. guy that works there is the cleaner. Like it was just. Thank you. I was. I didn't think you were gonna say it, but <laughs> yeah. so they have they have Asians. They have you know like whites. There's a, there's a good mix of everybody. There's a mix of everything. Genders. So they and find everything. the one Mexican out to come yeah. clean up all the passion fruit. Yeah. Like, what's going on? They're like what? Like, it's what? like. It, uh, yeah, it's like Asian butt manager and then white lady cashier both yeah. see that it broke and they're like, well, yeah. what do we do? She gets yeah. a tray that you put your food on and just puts the tray underneath it thinking that that'll just stall it. It's literally like an inch and a half. Of yeah, that. like you're it's not going like to get anything. <laughs> like I could fill that tray if you just give me that juice. I could fill that tray right now. I'm like, that's so crazy. I, and so then like, like and they, then Super Mexicano comes out. The what, Rooster what, came yeah. out. He came out, he's got the rags, he's got the mop, he's got the paper towels, he's got the little, well, he didn't have the little yellow uh, triangle sign, but, like, you might as well, like, he was the, he, yeah, yeah, he was on it. He's like, oh, I got this, man, and then he just takes care of that's it. The whole time with it, it literally took the whole time that we were eating, though, to do it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we had the, a show the food, the food on top good. of the actual everyone, show that was happening. Like we had a show, yeah, and a right. sh we had a show and a show. Oh, what good that food! Other show. Yeah, it was a show. Superman pose. Yeah. That was a show. That uh, that other show was phenomenal. But yeah, good food. Yeah, we definitely good, go back. I would go. There, I yeah. go back there. I mean, I would, what did we say? I said that if the soup is garbage, which we know it usually is downstairs oh, is. at yeah. our at our school cafeteria, if it's bad. What I would normally get to supplement that, which is like a salad and a parfait and a, a whatever, like a zero coke, is is more expensive than just getting like an actual like, right. a bowl meal at this place. And this place yeah. is tastier than that plain yeah. old two day old lettuce salad. 
So his my sandwich is still good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm still low, overall, but like, yeah, the, the overall though is better at this new yeah. place that we found. Yeah, Bebop, uh, Bebop Grill, I think. Yeah. So now with the now what Bebop forces me to do is that now I'm going to look at the menu every morning before we even make a decision, and be I like, I, no, no questions asked. I'm just going to go to Bebop, and if Bebop is like I'm not feeling it, I'm just going to go to Panera and just get a big old soup. Because either right. way, I'm getting. I'm gonna. What did I say earlier? Oh, I'm gonna. Leave, I'm gonna. I'm getting some. I'm leaving with I'm some. I'm getting some. I'm leaving with some. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm with either some. gonna get me that soup or I'm gonna get me that bowl. I'm and I'm all about it. So the walk that we do to the cafeteria is nice, but like this one's a little bit nicer. It's a little more dangerous though, because I'll yeah, on the we edge. have to we have to cross yeah. like four lanes of traffic to get there. Yeah, right. Unless we go to the light, which has a crosswalk. <laughs> but the extra well, walking is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but on a good day. I don't mind going through. Day. I don't mind going through that middle section, because that that'll takes. take us to the sidewalk that's at like the actual street level sidewalk, and then that'll take us to the crosswalk. So we don't get, we only get, you know, hit by a car and not killed okay. by a car. No, no, no. <laughs> and then we, and then we, case. and then we can walk the long. It's just a big U instead that's of a, a instead of a, right. Yeah, it's just a big U yeah. instead of a a big L. So. But yeah, I mean, well, we don't take no else. That's, that's we don't, sure. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, and then today I I even crossed in the middle of the street because I'm like, we gotta get back faster. Because I'm I'm sweating. Yes. Like I'm gonna I'm have I'm gonna have again. that line on my back, and the world's not ready <laughs> to see how I sweat. Okay, there's only one woman that can see how I sweat. She's in she's in my house. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, where I'm walking on the sidewalk in anticipation he's gonna do it. All of a sudden he splits off, doesn't tell me, and yeah. there's there's like a mile between us. There's too much of them I, Olympics. I started power walking. I was yeah, like, mm, we're moving. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the power walk. Oh, I can't the believe that that's a, I can't believe that's an Olympic sport. How is that hey, an Olympic mean, sport? What do you mean how? It's that just walking. Right? To move them in. It's, it's power walking, fast walking. It's just fast walking. I feel like I'd be really good at that. Me too. Because I'd After be I really bad. Because I'd be really bad yeah. at everything else. But I'd be good at that. Maybe even shot put. I think I can throw the metal balls pretty far. I don't know. That's just a good. I see. I gave you an alley oop, and then you, you have, you you have just, little arms. You just did a layup. I have little arms. Little. I get it. Yeah, I do. Arms. So, side note: Talk about arms. Uh, so today I tried something, and I wanted to see if I got a reaction. No one reacted to it, which is fine, because we got distracted by the elevator trying to like choke slam you. Um, because <laughs> for whatever elevator, reason, whatever, it, was you. it was not me. I didn't hit the button. We hit the button to call the elevator to our floor. I walk in. I'm the first one that walks in. I go straight to the corner. And I guess it just read me as four people, which is, by the way, rude elevator. And, and then it just, as Enrique got to it, it started closing. So he that go, it's, he, like, it's like, hey, we, we you can't come in. Yeah, we know for sure you can't come in. There's four. Yeah. Like, I don't know why you think you're going to get five and six. I was like, elevator, relax. Open the door back up. I'm not hitting the button. He put his arm in. I'm like, that's on you. I'm like, what the hell, Sal? And he's like, dead looks at me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing. I, uh, I know. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I'm like, what the hell? Like, did you like Jedi? Like, yeah. Uh, the <laughs> Jedi mind <laughs> trick the door. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, close it now. But I, I just couldn't believe it. I didn't expect that from him. Yeah. Jason did it the other time where he closed it on. Well, Jason closes yeah, that on people all the time. I guess that's just his time. thing, <laughs> like because it happens. It's pretty frequent. It, it happens is. a lot. But uh, yeah. So so anyway. So what the thing that I try to do charm. when we were walking from uh, like floor one to outside on our way to the to the spot, I started doing the Jordan walk. You know how he kind of like super flops his arms in a in a very unique way. I was like, I wonder if someone's gonna see me do the Jordan walk. Nobody saw you do that. No one saw me do it. I tried too. Like I started pushing it, and I was like, "Now it's just being ridiculous," because <laughs> as is tradition, there's this dude on Instagram. I'll put the link in Discord. All he does is the Jordan walk of him, like just walking around places. I gotta see it because it's crazy. It. It's crazy good. I didn't do it. You were, well, you were in front of me, so you didn't get the opportunity. But I was wow. really trying to get um, Jason and the supervisor to turn and look, but they were in some type of discussion about something. So I was like, I'm just Jordan walking for myself. Well, I don't think Jason would have recognized it because he's not a big basketball fan. Yeah, and the supervisor, Jordan, right? maybe. I, I get it's Jordan, but, like, he knows Jordan as, like, the icon, not, like, not as like the actual the subtle, basketball player. Not like, yeah, the subtle right. he's not gonna know, Jordan. Like, you, he's not going to know how Jordan used to, like, you know, 
walk. Make the, oh, the smoke? <laughs> yeah, the yeah walk, with the, the walk, smoke yeah. in front of Johnny Red Curran. He wouldn't know that. Because in my head, yeah. once we got off that elevator, I just heard the doon, 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 just the Bulls intro <laughs> music, and I just started walking. I just It just happened. And I was like, I wonder if someone's going to see it. And then I turned, and I'm like, I am not I the right person to do that. I, I think you would have I think you would have enjoyed it. And I think oh, you would have tried to one up me and like we would have started doing people's like like you would have done the LeBron <laughs> thing. I would have done the Stephen Curry thing cuz they all have their tweets. They all have their own things. Yeah, absolutely. And then and then oh. we would have got stuck in the door together. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't let me in the door. Yeah, we try to one up each other on like just ba- non-basketball basketball twerk or twerks tweaks. <laughs> just go along there. Side note, I'd probably lose the twerk match, but like whatever. Well, I don't these, these like mugs bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> he's definitely losing that. He's definitely losing that. Straight dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the girl from Bob's Burger. I'm, you know. Yeah, I'm that's, like, yeah, that's right. With, the, with yeah, like that broken back, badges, sideways yeah, head. Yeah, right. Oh God, what a what a fantastic <laughs> man. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she anyway, <absolutely> knows <laughs> where, are where are we? Where are we? Oh, we're at time. Oh, wow, we actually talked about the things we talked about, too. That's great. Oh, no, we have to talk about the water cooler. Cooler game. Mm. All right, we're going to end on this. So, you guys know my investigation has been ongoing with the cooler gate that goes on in our office. Mm-hmm. After a certain time every day, there's always a splash of water on the actual, like, container thing. Mm-hmm. And then there's water on the floor that could trip someone up. Okay. So... I had my suspicions that suspect number one was a gentleman that always came in from, like, patrol duties to mm-hmm. come and eat his lunch there. It always seemed to happen when he was working. Mm-hmm. But he was not aware that I had opened this investigation. He has not been back. Yeah, since we opened it. Since we opened it, and it has stopped. Interesting. So it's very interesting that he could possibly still be a suspect, but I feel, I feel like... It's someone in the office that knows I had opened this investigation. Yeah, because we were talking pretty loud about it, and then suddenly it stopped. Suddenly it stopped. Now people are very conscious about when they go and get water. Yeah. I do sporadic water runs just yeah. to see if I can catch I'm going someone. back and forth more often now. And then I texted you about it one time. I was like, hey, 10.05, yeah. no, everything's clean. That's right. So this I is real. This is a real thing for yeah. us. We have nothing to this do with is, this. Is real. I'm going to find out who is causing hazards because we have zero accidents in a very long time, and this person is trying to break our streak. Yeah. I have one more suspicion. I think it is, and I, I'm going mm-hmm. to try to narrow it down. I think so I, we I will think keep you guys up in it too. Without even, I know you know who yeah, it is. Exactly. I know because we're here. We're here already. Mm-hmm. I don't, you couldn't see me, but I'm doing like the eye to eye thing. That's right. right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> I just realized you couldn't see me. I got my uh, top so, three. It's gonna be like full Brooklyn Nine Nine. Suspect number one. Right. Can you start seeing the Backstreet Boys? That's right. We that's right. Are <laughs> my you fire. are my fire. <laughs> Best opening scene ever in a long time. So I, I, had had narrowed it, stuff like that. I have narrowed it down to a couple of suspects. Mm-hmm. Suspect number one is still part of it. Because he hasn't been back, Mm -hmm. but I feel, I feel like it's someone that knows that I opened the investigation. Him not being back is just a coincidence. So I think he might be, he might be like the fall guy. Yeah. The real evil genius is lurking in our office. Yeah. And I think she wears skirts. (laughs) Correct. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. And heels. Because that's a big old bottle. Easy to spill. Huge. Huge bottle. Very little hole. Yeah. It's Ooge with no H. It's like apostrophe U-G-E. It's yes. huge. Oh, huge. So get ready out there. That we're doing actual security investigation. Well, like we're actually trying. Like this is I'm, we're gonna figure it out. I'm going to check the levels of her water throughout the day to see when she actually fills them. Like that's my next yeah. part of the investigation is to see when that happens. We're actually there rotating shifts. Question. Like we're doing the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am going to be watching. Like I am going to put a nanny cam. They're gonna be like, "Oh, it's a cute bear." No, I'm watching yeah. you now. Yeah. That's me watching you. That's when you hear the bear, the <laughs> eye goes... That's right. It's zooming in on you. <laughs> That's right. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to find you. And when I find you, I'm going to nail yeah. you to the wall. Good luck. Because one, you're <laughs> waste. Yes, good luck. That brings Beckham into the fold because Beckham's from the Albanian. So, <laughs> so like, it brings it into the fold. But when I find you and I find that you're wasting that delicious water, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Fist of cuffs. We're going to have a problem. This High noon. Time. Meet me outside. 
With with his his Clint Eastwood gear that he's trying to That's find. Right, I'm gonna have that kitchen oven door underneath my <laughs> <laughs> underneath my poncho. Cause why shoot me in the head when you can shoot That's me in the right. chest? That's right. And it's gonna stupid be westerns. Stupid westerns. But anyway, I'm, you, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you who you are. And if you're listening and you know it's you, you might as well just come and tell me so I can end this investigation That's and right. you cannot have this. Take ugly ownership mistake. of your fault. It will. It will get ugly. Yeah, you'll be stronger for it, trust me. You won't be. <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and you. gentlemen, thank you thank you so much for hanging out on our live streams on Twitch and TikTok. Don't forget to jump on our other social media accounts in Instagram, Facebook, Discord, and Spotify. Of course, the bread and butter and the entire loaf is on YouTube. That's where everything gets uploaded. That's where the shorts go. Everything is awesome on the YouTube. Don't forget to hit that little bell for notifications. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a little comment. Tell us what you think about the crazy shenanigans that we, for whatever reason, decide to put ourselves through every single day in our security environment. That's um, right. With that being said, thank you so much, everyone. And we will catch you on the flip side. And as always... Stay classy. I'm not sure. Loud. Yeah, I'm not sure if these people know that, but square pizzas are dumb. Stupid. They don't even cook evenly. It's a hard R. Yeah. Oh, it's beyond that. <laughs> and the only good thing that that R has is that it's close to the letter O, which is a circle, which is the way you should circle. cook your pizza. Exactly just, just do it right. Everything that's good on a pizza is a circle. The pizza circle. is a circle. The pepperoni is a circle. Even the little sausages are circles, hypothetically. Okay, you, lost me. you lost me with pepperoni. I'm just saying that, like, your stereotypical good toppings are circles. I get it, but you lost me on that one. That's, that's fine. Circle. Even an, I'm going to even say some stuff that I don't eat. The olives on there, the black olives, are circles. Okay? <laughs> I don't eat them, but they're circles. Circles goes on pizza, period. Okay. It's circleception. Yes. That's just how it works. Even technically... The pizza dough, when you bread oh. it, when you like twist it, that's twisting it in a circle. You don't see circle. them doing squares. No squares. Even no if you squares. put the if you put the cheese in the crust, the cheese is a cylinder, and when you look at it from the forward, that's a circle. Everything about circle. a pizza is good because it's a circle. Because it's a circle, people. Listen to what he's saying. Even if you put stupid pineapple on a pizza, they even cut the uh. circle ones. They cut the circle ones. Not little like squares. On ham. And ham, also Canadian bacon. Ham, Canadian bacon is in a bigger circle. Circle. The ham is so good, though. Ham is lie. delicious. I okay. Love ham. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Shit,